Hi children welcome back to our class today we are going to discuss about our 7th chapter tangents once more tangents children see this picture here ab is the diameter through the point a on the circle and it is extended a bit on either side this picture shows another chord through a instead of a diameter which is also extended without alternating the position of a suppose we make x closer to a here the red line in the picture just touches the circle at a this line is called the tangent to a circle at a let's look into the definition of a tangent a tangent to a circle is a line that touches the circle at only one point Here the line touches the circle at a point P. Children, next we will go for an an important concept. What is the relation between the tangent and the diameter through that point? The tangent at a point on a circle is perpendicular to the diameter through that point. Which means the angle between diameter and tangent is 90 degree let's do some exercise questions on page number 164 the first two construction questions will teach you in the next class now i start with the question number 3 prove that the tangents drawn to a circle at the two ends of a diameter are parallel once again prove that the tangents drawn to a circle at the two ends of a diameter are parallel a tangent through p is perpendicular to pq which means pq is perpendicular to rp a tangent through q is perpendicular to pq which means pq is perpendicular to sq is it clear for you okay therefore angle sqp equal to angle rpq equal to 90 degree so angle sqp plus angle rpq equal to 180 degree but they are co interior angles so pq is parallel to sq which means that pq is parallel to sq hence we proved the question thank you